there, thanks for joining me. Now because we took the engine out, the 3 Series, and we had to take the clutch plate off to get it, the timing chain and everything, the clutch needs to be reset before we put it back on again. It's the self-adjusting clutch, the sack clutch. So it's got this mechanism on it, we've got to reset it. So let's get stuck in and I'll show you what we're going to do. As I've done for the rest of the job, we're using the e-manual online, full BMW workshop, links in the description, a really useful bit of kit. Now others have drilled holes through the workbenches, garage all he did, he put holes straight through his best worktop. But I'm going to use a pallet, so I'm just drilling a hole through a pallet, because we need to clamp the plate to it. So we'll just get a bit of, you know, cleaning up a tad with the old hoover there. Um, I'm using bits of lath, bits of wood, 2b1, and you just need to just rest it right on the edge of the plate, on the cover there. Don't want to be interfering with the pressure plate itself, the face of it. We want to get this on, on the edge. I just need six of these. So I'll just chop a few up with the uh, with the saw and I can position them wherever every bolt mounting is. I just slide a bit of wood under it. As long as all the bits of wood are the same thickness, this is going to work. I say that using the pallet, because I've got to chuck that away so it's not damaging enemy workbenches or anything. And there we go. I've got the Freetech bearing puller here. I'm going to use that. You can just use a long bolt and a washer, but this is perfect. These fit like a glove, so I'm just going to pop one of them on. I've got this nice big puller bolt. It's a great bit of kit. I've got another video where I use this on a wheel bearing. It's been fantastic and this is just another use for it. So we can put the I put a, a pair of grips on one end, adjustable spanner on the other and just wind the plate down now. We want to take this all the way down as far as it will go. The, res the resistance just builds up slightly. You can just see the springs just moving a little bit as I wind that down. If I just go down, it's like I say, till it's resisted and it's all the way down. You can just feel it when it's there. Yep. Once it's fully pressed. So we've got the spring adjusters here. Now we've depressed this, the plate. We can push back those there. See how that's all moving? It's on like a, on a cam. You just need to get that right back. It is a bit fiddly trying to get it you need to use two two things really I've got a little hook and I've got a screwdriver close position there just hold that using one is really difficult yeah two's better oops slipped and holding it's a bit easier said than done it is quite fiddly <laughs> we'll go again third time lucky so I'm pushing this now and pulling it, pushing it around with the, the, the prong and the screwdriver. I'm just going to squeeze it around all the way like that and then just rest the screwdriver into my stomach so I've got a free hand to get my spanner back on this top bolt. Because the idea is we've got to undo this while we've got them springs held in place. And once we undo it, it will just hold itself there. So as long as I can hold them while I undo it, it's going to be good happy days and you can see all we're doing is what the tool is using in the top corner there we're doing exactly that we've just made his own just keep winding it holding it as we go pressure's coming off there you go. now we can just unwind that thread get his tool out of the middle and then we're good to go you can see now the springs are fully compressed. The plate is in a relaxed condition. Ready to go back in the car. Right, and then we've got to make a little clutch alignment tool. And this is just a piece of 15mm copper pipe with a couple of olives in there just to hold that in place. That fits perfectly into the spigot, which gives us a nice tool for aligning the plate up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape around there because the uh, these are just 15 mil compression joints off of a a tap gearbox side, so that's going to sit in there. And it's, it fits like a glove. It really does fit well. It's, we're talking just a tiny bit of movement there, but don't forget this plate has got a really well movable centre. It's got lots of flex in it. So as long as we're within a millimetre or so of that being right in the centre, this will allow for the, the difference. 
I might just go try one piece of one wrapper tape around it just to see if it just makes it a little bit more uh, a little bit more secure. You can buy clutch alignment tools, they work okay, but I, I quite like doing this. Do you want better get it in there? Alright, there you go. Okay. So the plate, it's got it says gearbox side on it, but if yours doesn't, it's the, the bigger side sticks out, goes towards the gearbox. Yeah, that's, that's better, look, that's a lot more secure. And then our plate that we've reset, we can now put that into place. Get it onto the dowels. Like that. And because my bolts were so badly butchered from the, uh, the clutch place, I bought some new ones. These are only cheap from BMW, less than a pound each. So some things are really cheap. Some things you don't think to be expensive, other things are really cheap. It's surprising. When you think how much those rubber seals were, and then we've got some nice bolts, and these have all got a bit of um, Loctite on them as well, so we haven't got to faff about with any of that. We'll get these all started. Crossways. It's a little bit of time in the front. Okay, we'll get the torque wrench. These are the 10 9 bolts, so the 34 newton meters on the torque wrench. 34. All the minutes, just look around them again. Yeah, six, all done. And then we can remove this little spigot tool. There it is. Wow, well, clutch is dead lined up. Happy days. Ready to go back in. Springs compressed, looking lovely. Oh, well, another job done. Hope you've enjoyed that one. A bit of useful information there. The clutch is on, it's all set, ready to go back in the car. If it's been of use, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.
wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.